and welcome to Katrina's Creations. This is episode 245. If you are a new viewer and checking out the channel, thanks for stopping by. If you like what you see, please click that little red subscribe button, and if you click the bell-shaped icon next to it, that will let you know anytime I post a video, which currently is Saturday, Wednesday, and Thursday. So lots of videos each week right now. If you are a returning viewer that's been around with me for quite a while, thank you so much for coming back each week. I really do appreciate it. And I love my yarning friends. So um, thank you for coming by once again to check me out. So if you hear rumbling in the background, we actually have a thunderstorm going on. There's actually some t tornado warnings up at this point. So Hopefully we'll get through this video with child, without me running to go down in the crawl space where we live. So uh, <laughs> I think we'll be fine. But anyway, let's get started. So I have two finished objects this week. I have one more hat. So there it is. It's just a plain hat. I mean, the top, the top is the pinwheel beanie, which is one of my patterns that is free. Um, down in the description box under my patterns, but the rest of it is just kind of improvised. I just kind of winged it as I went. So it's just a stockinette stitch, and then I did two rows of uh, two rows of pearl, and then I skipped a couple and did another couple rows of pearl, so it formed these ridges. And I did a four by four ribbing for the base of the hat. So it's basically a beanie. I'm not going to put it on because my hair is a mess anyway. Um, so this is one more hat for charity. My other project that I finished was my shawl. I have not come up with a name for it yet. So, so if you have any ideas, uh, put a comment down below. Let me know. Uh, but here it is. Uh, to get this up close. I'm just showing main, mainly this. I'm going to show you mainly the center because that's where most of the work is. So there you can see it goes here. And then there's a lace section and a solid section and a lace. And this is very, very easy lace. It's called the bamboo stitch. And then we have some more lace and some striping and some ridges and then we have this like little points at the bottom not quite a pico bind off but little edges and this little white thing is my stitch marker which looks like a little skein of yarn there you can see it and that's where i was last week so most of this is what I did this week, but the edging takes a bit of time. It is attached afterwards. So you finish at the shawl itself, at the edge where the, the gold edge was, and then you knit this separate, and then it's attached to it. So I still don't even have my edges woven in because I literally just took it off of the blocking boards which is what the uh, Wednesday video will be about, will be how to block your projects. And this will work for knitted or crocheted. So this is wide enough. It's a little over six feet. It is not technically, it's, I don't know if you'd really call it a crescent shawl or not, because it is wider than it is deep, but crescent shawls are usually rounded. So it is wide enough that I could wrap it around my shoulders like this and it fits very nicely with a little bit extra here to hang so it's not going to fall off but it also has enough of the edges that I could wear it in the front if I chose to as well so I could also wear it like that so very versatile I do not have the pattern written up for it yet because I wanted to get some photos for it uh, so I will hopefully this week get the pattern written. So like I said, if you have any ideas for the name, just stick it down in the comment. Uh, but there it is. This is my other second finished project for this week. Now my work's in progress. Let's start 
with my afghan the chevron slash ripple afghan You can see from the stitch marker where I was last week. So I have gone up four more sections and each section is four, um, four rows. So I was, I did one more row of the tan here and then I did a full green, a full tan and a full green. So that would be 12, 13 rows. And this is about 46 inches across. Now here's the thing, I just bought more yarn because I thought for sure I was going to need some more for this afghan. I don't know if I'm going to or not. Let me show you how far, how tall this is. This is two skeins of the green and two skeins of the taupe. Now each skein does have uh, 359 yards. So, you know, I've all together it's about 700 yards of each color so far. But here's how far I have gotten with this. So it is about, about four feet wide, and it is probably about, I would say, close to three feet tall. So I still do have some more to go. Um, let me show you how much yarn I have. This is, this is what I have left of this skein. This is the green. It's called Juniper, and I have the same amount left of the the taupe color. So I will be getting into the next skein of each color, but I'm definitely not going to need an entire full skein. So I will have some leftovers, which will probably become hats because that seems to be what I'm doing because I'm making a lot of hats for charity right now. So that is this project. And this is for my daughter. And that's going to be the last Afghan for a little bit of time. Although the other day I saw somebody's granny square afghan and I kind of got the itch to do a granny square afghan. So maybe the next scrappy afghan I make will be a granny, a granny square. We shall see. So what am I working on besides that? I have one other project since I finished the knitted project. I try to have a knitted project and a crochet project going each time. I am making, it's called the Begonia Swirl Shawl. It is a free pattern. It is by Carfield Ma. Uh, it is in different languages. Now this pattern, like I said, is free, but you have to get it through Ravelry. So I had this pattern back when I had a Ravelry account, but I haven't had a Ravelry account for about two years now. Haven't missed it, but anyway, I mean, it's a nice resource, but I just can't agree with some of the stuff that they were saying and doing. So I do not have a Ravelry account anymore. But um, it is knit with a lace weight um, and a, let me see what the millimeter is I'm using, a US 4 or 3.5 millimeter needle. The yarn I am using is by Knitting Fever. It is called It is called Painted Desert. Now this color does not have a name on the band itself. It just says it is number 19. Well, I looked it up and number 19 is called angelic. I don't know that I call it angelic. It's a lot of baby colors, to be honest. Um, it has kind of a salmony peach color in there as well. And if you look close at some of the yarn, let's see if I can show this up close. It has kind of some marling, which means two colors mixing together. There you can see it. And this isn't necessarily a lace weight yarn. It is considered a light fingering, but it's a very light fingering. Um, so it's, I would say it's between, between a lace weight. I mean, to me, lace weight is thinner than this. I've, I used to knit with lace all the time. Uh, but this is more of a light fingering and it's working out perfect. Let me show you first what the shawl actually looks like. So I'm going to show you a picture of somebody who has made one of these. And I tried to find a picture that was in similar color to what I'm making it in. So I'm going to insert that so you can see what the shawl really looks like.
Now I am incorporating, if you saw in the picture, there's like at the edging, which is um, attached later, um, there's beading at the tips. Uh, well, there isn't beading. I'm going to put beading at the tips. I have some pink colored beads that I'm going to apply to it. So I have not gotten very far with this. I just got started. I'm only, there you go. I had to hold a box behind it so that you could see. I've actually just started, this is the neck right here. So I'm actually only into about four rows here. So you can't really see the pattern yet with this. Now the construction of a begonia shawl um, is the same as some, I, I've done the same shawl beginning um, or structure before. What you do is you actually start out by knitting three stitches. And then you continue to just knit those three stitches over and over and over again until it forms like a neck band. And once you get the neck band, which is what this section is that I showed you, you then go and turn your work and pick up all along the length. You have the three stitches on the end, you pick up stitches along the length of it, and then you pick up the other three stitches on the other end so that it's, it's kind of curved. And then you begin your work knitting after that. So, um, I think my Faroese shawl that I've shown before, that one was done the same way where you had a, like a collar or a neck, a neck band and then the shawl builds off of that. And it increases as it goes. So each of those little swirls, you're not, you're not knitting them individually. You actually are knitting them at the same time and it finishes up with a little over 400 stitches. So it, it's going to start and kind of form a triangle and then you attach the bottom uh, when you're done. So. A lot of fun and it does come if you do decide to get the pattern it does come in a charted form but it also comes in a written form I can do both but if I had to pick one I like the written form better so you do have that option it is in English it's also in some other languages as well so um, yeah you can take your pick there so now that I have showed you what I'm working on, I'm going to do show and tell. Now one thing somebody put in the show and tell I wanted to explain because I had to ask her what it was she was doing. So you will see um, a woman named Cynthia has done a, she's got like um, fibers, felted fibers. Well, they aren't felted yet. Uh, she has them laying out and then she has packed the the uh, strands of fiber on top of its of its, itself and then she has lightly basted it together. So I asked her, um, I said, so are you going to felt this or what are you doing with this? Because I had never seen this done before. I just assumed she was going to hold that in place and try to felt it. She's actually going to sew this with like a quilter attachment. So um, yeah, it should be interesting. So when you see that picture, so you know what she's doing with it, um, yeah, I, I had to message her on Facebook and ask because I was a little curious. So um, I'm interested to see what that turns out looking like. So with that, let's look at what everybody else has been working on this week.
Now in my acquisitions, you already know what I got. I have two more skeins of yarn for the Chevron Ripple Afghan. The yarn I am using, it is Premier Basics. You can get this at Annie's. That's where I bought it from. And it, this color is Juniper. The other one is Taupe. It is 100% acrylic. There are 359 yards or 328 meters per skein. So it is, it is a nice hefty skein. So you do get a lot of yarn with it for the money. And I think it's, I think it's three something, three uh, US dollars is three dollars and something. I could be wrong, but I think it is. Um, yeah, so it, I mean, it's a good deal. You get a lot for the money. So that is my acquisitions. Upcoming videos, what do I have going on? Uh, Wednesday will be a blocking tutorial on how to block your knit or crochet work. And then Thursday will be the next installment, be episode five of my bariatric journey. Uh, for those of you who are not aware, I am in the process of having weight loss surgery. Um, I'm hoping to have a bariatric sleeve. And so I'm going through all of the process. There's, there's lots of doctors you have to meet with and things like that. So I am in the process of doing that and I'm taking you guys along. So um, yeah, whenever you see those videos, if you are trying to lose weight too, please put in the comments down on that particular video how much weight you are you have lost that particular week because that way we can encourage each other. So um, yeah, right now I have lost, I lost 1.6 pounds this week. So I am at a total right now of 4.6 pounds that I have lost. So. It's, I'm trying to lose as much as I can now before the surgery because that'll make it even more successful in the long run. So, um, and I have a long ways to go. So the, the closer I can get before I get started, the better. So this week I do have an appointment with my cardiologist. Well, my cardiologist, I've never met them before. I have an appointment with a cardiologist. I already have had an EKG uh, done to make sure that yes, I do have a heart and it is working and doing what it's supposed to do. Uh, so I am meeting with a cardiologist because they want to make sure your heart, your heart is healthy before you have surgery. So I will take you guys along for the trip. Now it's time for... Now in our come and get it section, uh, one of the sales I advertised earlier this week is still running. It runs until August 8th. And that is at Knit Picks, and they are running a summer sale where if you spend $50, you get $5 off. If you spend $75, you get $10 off. If you spend $100, you get $20 off. So bang for the buck is better than 100 but uh, not too many people are going to spend that much yarn or money on yarn or whatever. But if you do, that's the, that's the deal you want. Uh, for all of those discounts, you do need to use a coupon code STACK. 21 and you do that at checkout and that will get you that discount so that is knit picks now leisure arts they're not running a sale because they hardly ever run a sale um but i did when i was doing my ripple afghan or chevron afghan um i decided to kind of look around and see what other kind of things they had out there so I ran across this. It is a it is a chevron or ripple afghan, but it's really pretty. It's a baby blanket, uh, but it has like some. It looks like puff stitches mixed into it. It's really pretty. It's called the Sweet Dream Baby Afghan. Now the pattern for that is five ninety nine. I don't remember if that's the written pattern or a download. I think it's a downloadable pattern. Another one I ran across, and uh, they have this for knit and fro crochet. They also have this for shawls for knit and crochet. It's, it is a series called Make in a Weekend. So there's Make in a Weekend Afghans in knit and crochet, and there's Make in a Weekend shawls, and they have some for crochet and for knitting. So if you want a fast project, there you go. Uh, so I will put the link to all of these sales down below in the description box. And then the only other one that I know of right now, because Lion Brand ran a really good sale on Mandala, uh, it was like 35% off, but it just ended this morning, like nine o'clock this morning. So it's already done. So I am waiting to find out what their newest sale is. So when I find out, I will pass it on to you guys and let you know what is on sale. Uh, but Annie's does have some clearance yarn at some pretty decent prices. They have a variety. So again, the link to that will be down below. 
So that is it for this week. Thank you so much for watching and tuning in each week. And I will see you again on Wednesday and on Thursday. Bye, everybody.